Hello everybody and welcome to Solid Code. In this video we are going to see how to add Google Analytics to a React application without using any package. Usual, usually when most people want to add a Google Analytics to a React application they used the package React GA but in this case we are going to see how to do it without this. If you want to do it with this package you can use it. I will put the link in the description but there is a faster way to do it we are going to do it for this page is a test page for one of the companies that we have so we are going to add it to this page so first of all we are going to go to Google Analytics and you have to go to the home page and in this case we are going to create a new account and a new property so we click on create account we are we are said that is a testing account because we are going to do some testing. The property name, let's say, is, is it is testing web, just to put something, and we click on next. Let's say on you have to select the industry category of the company that you are working with for the property. So let's say that. In, this is just entertainment or something like that. I think it's down here. Let's say it is just let's say it is games. And let's say the business size is small and you have to click on why are you trying to use Google Analytics for your business. So I'm just going to click those two. This is a test account. You have to accept both a license agreements so now it is created but now you have to create uh, the flow so let's say it's, we just want to test web so in this case we are going we are going to work in localhost so we are going to use a run a random URL in my case I'm going to use the URL of my production page that is this one but you can use here my example for or testing.com because this is just <coughs> in order to create the stream but a uh, Google Analytics will uh, will detect that you are working on localhost so you won't have any problem so Let's name it testing and let's create the stream. Okay, so now we have the stream created and the most important part to do this without using any library is to click on here and copy this code into the project. As you can see here, this measurement ID is the most important one, is a unique ID for your project and it is in this code. So we are going to copy it into the code. In your project, you have to add the code into the index.html file. In my case, for my project, it's inside the public folder. Do not confuse it with the, the index.js of your project because it's not the same. You have to put it inside the head tag. That is the most important part. So you have to find your index.html, it can be on your public or in your dist folder as well. So you just copy the code and we're going to go to Google Analytics. Also in your project, you can take a look here and you can find for Google and here you will see that the code will add this and as you can see is that unique ID that we have in the stream is this one GX30 so after that go to reports and you will see the users in the last 30 minutes I can see that there is already one used and it is from Costa Rica that is me and on real time you can start seeing the users that are visiting your page 
as you can see now it is counting two to visits so now this is working obviously in order to continue tracking other events like the clicks and other things you will have to go with the old way of using Google Analytics not with the react GA way not with this library but for uh, for some scenarios it is better to have all the control in case that this uh, library gives you some problems in my case it didn't work this library so I had to find another alternative and the good thing is that I don't have to add another dependency to my project so thanks for watching please subscribe and hit the like button and see you in the next video bye